Hello everyone, my name is Corridon. Welcome, welcome. I just wanted to give you a quick character guide on how to unlock every single character in Across the Obelisk. And this is going to be a spoiler-rich guide, so please don't look if you want to figure out how to unlock all the characters by yourself. There are two characters here that might not work with every patch because Heiner and Zek are getting their own zones later on in 1.1. So take that as a great assault. Uh, we'll have to remake this video at that time. Alright, here we go. Alright, the first character I'm going to tell you how to unlock is Heiner. He's a pretty easy one. You just go to his event here. You can uh, talk to him with any character at all, but a few characters have special interactions like Magnus and Evelyn where you can get extra shards. And once you do that, you'll want to head to the red portal after you complete Act 1 and it'll give you an option to go to the Black Forge. You'll want to choose the option where everybody can get burned, so you automatically go into the Black Forge. And then you'll have to do a fight with some golems, and once you complete the fight with golems, you'll have unlocked for Heiner, and congratulations, you've unlocked Heiner. Next unlock I want to go through is Grookly, and for Grookly, you're going to want to head to this fishing contest event down here. It's not always up, but don't be afraid because there's multiple ways to get Grookly, but the easiest way is to go to this fishing contest and grab this big fish from the fishing contest, entering the contest or fishing by yourself. If you have Thules unlocked already, he can automatically grab the fish without having to perform a skill check. Or Thules might need a skill check, don't quote me on that one. And then one item you're going to want to look out for too is the horseshoe item because it gives a character 100% success rate, and if you're running a healer on uh, Grookly's tab, which is right over here in the green portal, you will have an option to cure his stomach ache, and if you do that with either a very healing spell base deck or the 100% chance a horseshoe item, you will have Grookly unlocked, and congratulations. Now, the next character I want to unlock is the final warrior class, which is Bree. She is found in the blue area, and her quest is probably one of the hardest ones to do, so you might not unlock it until you're able to beat the game, because she pretty much requires almost beating the game to get to. You just go ahead and talk to her, and then you fight your way all the way to Act 4. And then at Act 4, you're going to want to go up this top path on the second floor of Act 4, and just plant the seed there, and you'll have Bree unlocked once you do so. Congratulations, you've unlocked Bree. Alright, the next character is going to be Cornelius, the Fire Mage. He's a pretty easy one, er, Thules, never mind, I'm going to Scouts. Look at me, messing up quite a bit again. Alright, going through the Scouts first. Alright, Thules is a Assassin's Poison Specialist, and he's going to be gotten by talking to him at the Windmill here, and then heading to the Green Portal when you get the chance after Act going. And that, he's pretty easy as you just go into the Spider Lair here, kill the boss, and then once you defeat the boss, you will have them unlocked. Alright, the next scout we're going to be talking about is Sylvie, who is also a pretty easy one, but you'll need to preemptively get an item for her quest, which is the Moonstone at the Forest Glade. When you go do this uh, node in the Forest Glade, you're going to want to attack the Moon Ritual and make sure after you defeat the boss there, that you wait until the Moonstone's cooled, or else you'll get a uh, injury card if you do not wait for it to cool. And then you're just going to want to take that gemstone over to Sylvie's node over here in the blue zone, and she'll join you after that. Next character is going to be Ghostav, who require you're going to want to save 600 gold le after leaving the green zone Act 2 area. You'll want to definitely make sure you're on Act 2 before you go to the get ghost stab because he requires you to go to the blue zone after that and once you go to the green zone you're going to want to head to the boat pier at the bottom and pay 600 gold to ride the boat and then you'll be able to reach Gustav he's going to tell you that his loot was stolen and you're going to want to go to here in act three blue area and clear out that event and you'll be able to unlock Gustav congrats all right rushing through these all right for the Mages, we're going to start with Cornelius, who is on the first act. Bridges over here, kind of near the bottom. He's going to want you to find his staff, which is actually a really easy thing to do. You just go to the red portal once you've cleared the first act, 
and it's just gonna be a boss fight over here in the bottom right with the cult temple. Pretty easy to do, you'll remember it easily, you're gonna unlock Cornelius, you're gonna have a great time lighting yourself on fire, and also lighting all the enemies on fire and winning the game. Alright, let's move on to the next one, Wilbur. Please. Yep, here's Wilbur. He is on the uh, Red Portal Act with Cornelius. You would have been able to see his thing there. He's going to ask you to look for a book for him. That book you won't be able to find until Act 4, so he's going to be one of the later characters you unlock if so. And his is pretty easy as well. You just take the top pass here and follow it to the library. And once you find the ancient knowledge there for his quest, you'll be able to unlock him. And the final mage character is Zek. His is a bit hard as well since you don't really know where to go. And the key to unlocking Zek is to in Act 1 getting this grave event. And you're going to want to dig at the grave. And that will give you a key in your inventory. And you take that key over to him in Act 2. Or Act 3 Blue Zone. And when you hand him the key you will unlock him. This is another character that as a possible side area that you might need to do things differently in 1.1. And congratulations, when you turn in the key, you'll have Zek unlocked. Alright, let's keep going through this, getting a little bit of mistakes going through. Alright, Otis. Otis is your defensive healer. He's going to be pretty easy to unlock. Probably the first character you'll have unlocked, actually. Because he doesn't even require you going outside of Act 1. You just go to his chapel, talk to him. Head up to the boss event up here, beat the boss, and you have Otis unlocked. He's one of the best characters in the game, and you'll definitely want to use him to help you clear the game. Alright, the next one is going to be Maluka. She is a bit different, as she also requires a early Act 1 clear, which is you're just going to have to go into the hatch of Act 1. And she's going to request a uh, demon, or uh, important ingredient, which is a something that belonged to a powerful demon. If you've done the hatch in Act 1, you'll know what I'm talking about, but you'll want to go down the hatch in Act 1 and confront Bellafor down there, and you'll want to kill him. There are options to be friendly with him for a pet, or just ignore him, but you're going to want to kill him, take his horn, and then bring it to Maluka. And also, to get to Maluka's hut, you're going to pay a thousand gold to pass the Krakoman Mafia, so don't forget to bring the 1,000 gold to cross the lake to get to Maluka. Yeah, right here's the hatch, in case you need to know where that is. And then for the final character, it's going to be Nezglect, which is probably the hardest character to get without knowing what to do. And he's going to be found first at the Stark this Riverside Camp, you're going to need the Stargazer event. And when you head to the Stargazer event, he's going to give you a couple options. You'll want to do a fast divination or a basic one. And when you do that, he's going to tell you to talk to his brother in Velkarath, which means the Red Portal. So when you head to the Red Portal, you're going to get this event that pops up called Express Delivery. You're going to want to go to that. He's going to ask you to deliver an item and you take the accessory he gives you and make sure you don't toss out this heavy package. You're going to need to carry the heavy package all the way through Act 4. And when you get to Act 4, it's going to give you the quest marker over here at his brother's airship. And when you deliver the crate to his brother's airship in Act 4, you're going to unlock Nezglect. You're also going to get this awesome squid token, which gives him a gives you a big discount for the Forge Altar and uh, Nezglect's final shop here. And he's also probably going to sell you some really great legendary items. And that's going to be Nezglect, and uh, that's also going to be the last character you need to unlock. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this guide useful. If you need any other help, as always, join the Across the Obelisk Discord, ask for Cordon, or anybody else in the helper rank. Enjoy the game. It's a really, really fun game. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If you also need any other guides, want any other tips, please let me know, and I'll be happy to make a video and talk about things. Have a great one. Peace. Goodbye.